Welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. I cook a nice pork tenderloin today. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, all. It's been a while since I've done a pork tenderloin. Um, I've done. I've got a video, an older one, that I'll put a uh, i card up so you can look at that one. Uh, that's been a couple months ago, but. Um, so these were on sale at Costco for $2.49 a pound, and I really love pork tenderloin, um, and I cook these medium. So this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of the package here. It's going to be really simple. So I'm going to get this out of the pack. All right, guys, I'll I got be right the uh, tenderloins out of the package, and with the Costco, you get two uh, packs of two. So you get four tenderloins, and at $2.49 a pound, that was a really good deal. So usually it's over $3 a pound for tenderloin. So if you look at those, those are decent size. They're good two foot each. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, season it, like I said, really simple. And this is a lemon pepper. Uh, it's called Coach's Zesty Lemon. And it's uh, made for Atlantic Grill Company by Lane's uh, Barbecue Rubs. But this has got lemon pepper, um, garlic, some kosher salt, thyme, and a few other special ingredients in here. So I've heard a lot about this. This is the first time using it, but I've known a couple people that used it and they really like it. So it's more of a lemon pepper blend, not just lemon and pepper. It's got a little bit of other seasonings involved in it. So I'm going to put a nice liberal portion on this side. And I like a heavy garlic flavor when I'm using lemon stuff. So even though this has some garlic in it, I am going to use just a little bit more garlic powder on top. Not a ton, it's just enough to add a little bit more garlic to that. We'll flip them over. That's Maybe all we're, we're going to do, guys. We're going to put them in our vacuum bag, and I'm going to cook these sous vide at 140 for about three hours to make it nice and medium. And then I'm going to finish it up on the Kamado Joe Classic, too, that I got. And we're going to get a nice, uh, nice seared crust on it. And nice and simple. Let's go. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to get these in a bag, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm about 15 or 20 minutes away from the tenderloin being done in the sous vide. So I'm going to finish it on my Kamado Joe Classic today. And I'm going to have an iCard above showing you the <coughs> unboxing of and the setup of the Kamado Joe Classic right above. But what I'm going to do now, see I have my charcoal basket, have the divider in because I'm only going to use this one side here to sear the tenderloins. On this side I'm just going to let it uh, be on the indirect side. So direct fire over here, indirect over here. I'm not really going to use the indirect side but I'm just going to use this half side here to uh, sear it. I'm going to use a couple of my um, wood fire starters. Put one in here and one right here. Kind of get them under the charcoal, get these lit. And by the time the tenderloins are done in the sous vide, this should be ready for a nice sear. I'm gonna tenderloins out of the sous vide bath and I'm just going to kind of pat them dry. I already patted them dry a little bit when I got them out of the bag so I'm just going to pat them dry again. They're not too wet and I'm just going to add just a little bit more of um, each of these seasonings. The zesty lemon seasoning 
It's one. And I'm going to leave a link to this seasoning below because it is on Atlanta Grill Company's website. And this I don't need to leave a link for because this is just plain garlic powder. So, or granulated garlic from Costco. There you go. That's it. Not a ton, just a little bit. I am though going to hit it with just a little bit of the duck fat. Not a lot, just enough to kind of crisp it up a little bit. You don't have to do this step. I just happen to like. I just happen to like the what uh, the duck fat adds to the uh, flavor of the tenderloin. So. All right, guys, I'm going to take it out to the grill, and I'll be right back. All right, all my grill's reading at 400 on the dome temp. It's probably a little bit more than that down at the grill level, though, the grate level. So you can see that's flaming pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead. I did throw a piece of pecan wood on there to get me a little bit of smoke. I'm going to go ahead and put these on and let them sear for a little bit. I'm going to leave them on for about a minute, minute 15 seconds or so. Kind of gave I'll you a different back. angle here because the fan that I got blowing my smoke out from under my patio was blowing the camera around a little bit. So, all right, they've been on for a little over a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those, see how they're coming out. Yeah, and that's got some good color to it already. So I might leave them for just a little bit longer on this time, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. I want to get a nice good golden brown on all sides. So I'll be right back guys. All right, it's been another two minutes. Let's see how that baby's looking. I'm going to turn it again, kind of a quarter of a turn, try to get some on that side. Yeah, that's getting really nice color. So I'm going to turn it so we get some on that side, and I'll put it back down for another minute. All right, let's check it out. Looking good. I can smell that pecan wood, so I know that the pecan wood's getting on the pork. So I'm going to do what we did on that other side. I'm kind of sideways here on this side like that. All right, give me about a minute on this side and we should be done. All right guys, here's what we got. Those look absolutely amazing. They smell great too. I can smell that pecan wood on there, that lemon pepper, garlic. I'm going to cut a piece right off the end here so you guys can see the doneness on it. Oh, well, that's the end, so really not very pink. I did it at 140. I wanted it medium. So I'm going to cut it right in the middle just so you guys can see what it looks like. Nice and juicy. If you see that, I'm going to taste this piece right here on the end. It's tenderloin. So it is very juicy. nice and juicy. Very tasty. I love that um, lemon pepper and garlic really good but um, well guys try it out um, I love you know got that pecan flavor too from the Kamado Joe from that pecan wood put a nice piece on there and just even even though it was on there for only like four or five minutes it got a nice smoke to it so all right guys make sure you like this video subscribe follow us on Facebook Instagram and Twitter and I'll see you in the next video Happy New Year. Hope you all have a great New Year.